On this edition of the Coffers, who's got a sweet tooth? So this is a bit of a first. Um, instead of reviewing toys, I'm gonna be stuffing my face with sweet, sweet chocolate. Uh, yes, leave it to a big budget franchise movie to have delicious tie-ins of the snack variety. So um, last week before I went to view Godzilla and Kong, the new empire, I stopped by my local FYE, and sure enough, as I walked in, there was a whole box of these Godzilla and Kong candy bars. These are chocolate bars. Uh, they had all four, and you know what? I am a glutton in general. There's no pun there. I'm literally a glutton. I'm a big boy. So I figured, you know what? Let's, let's give uh, a little sample here. Um, I did a video a long time ago. I still haven't put it up. That'll be coming where we sampled uh, the uh, Godzilla hot sauce. So there's more to life than just toys, people. So uh, I'm going to check out if these things are worth the price that I paid for them and if they're actually any good. So stand by as I sample chocolate for your viewing pleasure. So first up, going to open up the Kong bar. So let's take a look. This is the Kong Beast bar. Before any of you ask, no, I am not eating all four of these bars in one sitting. I will be sampling them because I'm old and eating a ton of sugar is going to make me nauseated to hell. But uh, a little sampling doesn't hurt anybody. Remember, remember people, moderation. That is the key to life. So first things first, we got the Kong Beast Bar, which is a dark chocolate covered in peanut praline and raspberry pate fruit. Okay, this, I'm, okay, I'm gonna be honest, I am not a fruit guy with my chocolate. Uh, that is not my thing. Look, I'm gonna be honest, if, you, if I got chocolate, I like chocolate, and I like peanut butter in my chocolate, and that's about it. I am simple in that that regard, but we're gonna try it out anyway. Uh, as you can see, I already kind of cut this thing open on accident transporting it. So here's the price of these bars. That's five bucks a bar. Four bars, I paid $20 for chocolate. That is, in any other world, I would not have spent that, but because of the magic of YouTube content, I made an investment for you good people. So, uh, there is, there's your, if you want to look it up, these are mostly at FYE. You can order them on FYE.com. Uh, let's get a closer look here. What do we got going on? So, these are made in Canada, Great White North. And what is the nutritional facts on these bad boys? 150 calories per serving two servings per container so this is a 300 calorie chocolate bar <laughs> my god that's a lot uh total fat 13 grams saturated fat that is 18 dietary fiber there you go let's see added sugar total 10 grams of sugar per serving so there's two servings so there's 20 grams of sugar in this thing this is yeah the you are this is not for uh weight loss um and the ingredients include dark chocolate peanut praline roast peanut sugar so uh oh, soy i already see soy yeah yeah this is no way 
This is not a nutritional bar by any means, but let's crack it open and see how this thing tastes. Oh, what am I doing? I'm not keeping these things. So, wow, in, in no, absolutely no. This is just a basic bar, wow. Five bucks for that. It is a solid, and it looks like something that I'm not going to repeat because this is a somewhat family-friendly channel. So let's take a little chunk off here. That's all I'm going to sample because I got a lot more to eat like in, in the rest of this video. Let me turn this around for a minute. So there is my ugly mug. <laughs> Sorry, you know, I've, um, yeah. So normally I don't show my faces on these videos. I do it for the podcast, but because I am sampling something, uh, you need to see the full reaction of whether or not these things are gross. And as you can see, there is a, let me get to the camera, there, there is a thin line. Ah, oh, man, this thing smells like a, oh, what, like um, what those diet bars. It smells... <sighs> God, yeah. This reminds me of like the protein bars that are supposedly good for you, but are just loaded with sugar. Immediately, that's the stench I'm getting off this thing. So there is a thin layer of what I'm gonna assume is the raspberry and the nuts in there. And it's already melting in my hand, so let's dig in. That's pretty awful. That's awful. And actually, no, no bueno on the Kong one. Um, if you like raspberry and you like those um, dietary bars, if that's your thing, more power to you. But I would not recommend spending $5 on this thing. All right, moving on. All right, up next we got Scar King Shadow Titan Bar. Mole blend, toffee, roasted almonds, and I'm not even going to pronounce that. I don't even know what that is, but I like think that's a little, little monster logo. So actually, let's pull up Kong real quick. Yeah, there's Kong. So I kind of dig these. These would be cool shirts. I like the designs on this. So I'm going to go on hero villain, hero villain. There's the price I paid. What is the nutritional count? All right, about the same. So this thing has got dark chocolate, soy. Uh, this is, yeah, this is, this is a dietitian's nightmare right here. <clears throat> All right, well, Kong was terrible. Uh, mole blend and toffee. I'm not sure how that's going to look or taste. So yeah, let's dig in and see what we got. actually has this bar was completely melted when I bought it I guarantee it was completely melted and then reformed so this one looks a little bit better so it's actually got bricks so we can just cut off Ooh, that is... there we go all right Solid chocolate. Flip back to my Hollywood good looks. So this is a much more solid chocolate, as you can see. A little bits of toffee in there. I'm actually just gonna break that in half. I don't want to eat the whole thing. I gotta eat more of this stuff. And uh, so there we go. Bottoms up. It's definitely a dark chocolate, and um. If dark chocolate's your thing, you'll love this. Um, hmm, that is potent. Uh, if you've never really sampled dark chocolate, dark chocolate is not like milk chocolate. Milk chocolate has all the sugar and the fun stuff in it. Yeah, that is an aftertaste. The toffee really isn't that heavy. It's uh, very light. Uh, I like toffee. I love a, I love a good Heath bar. Uh, it's usually kind of get mixed in when I go to uh, Cold Stones. Um, 
That one's a little bit better. It's definitely better than the Kong. Um, yeah, that leaves an aftertaste. So, again, am I pay, would I pay five bucks again for that? Definitely not. Um, so, all right, moving on. And I said we were going to do hero villain, hero villain, but um, I didn't. I didn't want to end on Shimo. So I want to save guys a little for last. So we're doing Shimo next. The Sub Zero Destroyer Bar. There's the little Shimo decal logo. I actually like that. Guy, I hope these become shirts. These these are actually really cool designs. And once again, dark chocolate and Kako nibs and peppermint essence. Okay. This feels like it's going to taste like one of those high-end... I'm already guessing. This is going to taste like one of those weird Christmas chocolates that you get in, like, the little calendars. Or, like, the little pillow mints at hotels. That's my guess right there. So, is this actually... Yeah, 150. Same as always. Here's the, what's in there. So much soy in this stuff. My God. Alright, well, let's crack it open. All of you. And. God. Yeah, these are not fancy bars. Ooh, and there is. Uh, Alright, there's a lot of. A lot of bits already in there. So let's get a chunk off there. Yeah. Wrap that up. This is actually fully just thick chocolate. I don't see any other lines, nothing else in here. There's little bits of whatever that stuff is. Bottoms up, everyone. This tastes like you dipped a candy cane in dark chocolate. That is terrible. Um, not as bad as the Kong, but that is not great. It definitely tastes like the worst version of those pillow mints. I don't know who in their right mind would want that as a snack, but there are some masochists out there, and I'm pretty sure there's someone that would absolutely love this thing. <laughs> We're one for two right now. Um, yeah, I definitely overpaid for these things. Ooh, I'm going to get some water, and we're going to wrap this up. All right, last but not least, we got... Godzilla, supercharged bar, 35% white chocolate, stone ground coffee. Oh my God. <sighs> you know, I didn't pay attention to what these things were when I bought them. I just grabbed them because you know what? Let's do a review. Why not? So actually with all the, the little logos, that is the best one. I kind of like that one the best. That's a cool Godzilla. <laughs> like an awesome glow in the dark shirt. So, look on the back. Oh my god, this one is so much worse. 170 calories per serving. Oh. Because it's got white chocolate. So, what is the... Oh my god, 22... 14 grams of sugar, including 11 added grams of sugar. 22%. Oh, 14 grams. Oh my god. This is a diabetic's nightmare right here. And this is already broken up too pretty well in there. This one, I got a feeling might actually be tasty. It's uh, it's white chocolate, but I am not a coffee guy. I don't drink coffee. I don't like the taste of coffee. Uh, I don't go to Starbucks. I don't drink any coffee whatsoever. I am a tea man and an energy drink guy. And I know some of you are already yelling, those are worse. I get it, but... I hate the taste of coffee. I've always hated the taste of coffee. It never did anything for me. And uh, yeah, so I'm a glunt for punishment on this one. So let's open it up and see how this bad boy goes. So, yeah, this one's already broken apart. Let's get a nice piece off there. Oh, look, this one actually has. It's actually got um, imprints on the chocolate. 
Ah, look at that. Looks just very random, though. Is there more? No, it's just ran weird. Weird. None of them have the other. None of them have the other imprints on them. But these, for some reason, are decorated. So I'm going to assume these were off some press. They were maybe for some other fancy chocolate that this company just reused. Uh, it's weird. It's weird that these are. These have detailings on them, and the rest don't. And I'm, of course, I'm smudging it already. All right. Moment of truth, everyone. This is the last bar. Oh, good God. That is God awful. That is God awful. Oh, that's, uh, that's not even like, it, it's so heavy with the coffee and there's so much sugar in it. Those two flavors do not go together. That tastes... Oh, I'm assuming that's why I like a macchiato or something tastes like. I've never drank a macchiato. It is so coffee heavy. And there's just... It's just coated in sugar. I can taste every grain of sugar in that thing. That is... Uh, ugh. Oh, that's terrifying. That's terrifyingly bad. These... These are not good. Uh, I cannot... Um, look. Tastes vary in life. Everyone's tastes are different. Uh, everyone loves something. Everyone hates something. I personally don't like refried beans and, and avocados. That's just me. I know a lot of people will love them. I hate them. And if you love coffee, you might like this bar. I, on the other hand, that is one of the worst tasting things I've ever had in my life. So... Oof. All right, everyone. That is all four bars. Yeah, these. Uh, yeah, I um, I, I, I definitely wasted twenty dollars on this. These are these are not good. Um, but that's my personal opinion. Uh, I've seen people because when I bought these, I posted them on our uh, Instagram, and people did chime in saying that they like the Scar King and they kind of like Godzilla. Um. Personally, there is not a bar in here I'm going to finish. Um, I'll just let you know, the other people in my household maybe take them up. But yeah, these are absolutely terrible. Oof. There was a, of the most edible, probably Scar King. Actually, no. Yeah, Scar King is probably the most edible of the bunch. With uh, Godzilla and Kong coming in dead last. Uh, I thought Kong was bad. I'm Godzilla for me was the absolute worst one shimo is just that's just two tastes that don't you think they go together but they don't they're just bad so yeah that is uh you just watch me suffer through really bad dessert um like i said taste vary try them for yourself uh, but for five bucks a bar, I, these are wildly overpriced. Uh, I know they're, they're only sold in FYE, hence the price. If they were sold at like a corner, you know, 7-Eleven or something, they'd be far cheaper. But yeah, these are, oof. nope, 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 and nope. That is my full reaction to all this. But uh, hey, if you liked what you see, we do have a show. It's called the Kaiju Kingdom Podcast, where we do talk about actual kaiju stuff and uh, not disgusting food. It's at the Kaiju Kingdom Podcast.com, where you can listen to our show and our sister show, the Common Kaisers. If you don't like downloading, we're also streaming on Spotify, Apple, or wherever else you might find better podcasts under the Kaiju Kingdom Podcast. We're also on social media. Uh, you can find us at X at the Kaiju Kingdom, Instagram at the Kaiju Kingdom, and Facebook.com slash the Kaiju Kingdom podcast. And that's going to do it for this disgusting episode of the coffers, guys. I'm going to go wash my mouth out with um, some Listerine and uh, try to find something to, to just get over this these terrible, terrible chocolate bars. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.